what you've just seen is a reenactment of a successful interdiction operation that took place six years ago. Interdiction and protective reaction. Those will be your areas of duty. This unit, which you're all so hot to become members of, came about because of the events that occurred in the early 60s. It is the only effective means of combating political assassination by the interception and the destruction of the assassin himself. Now, you men have been carefully selected for this program because of a high-level performance in the battlefield and your high-level performance in physical endurance. But as your training progresses, you will gradually reach a point of acceptance where you will begin to surpass everything that you have ever done before. You will reach goals that you never dreamed possible. And to accomplish this, you will be given vitamins to increase your stamina, chemical injections to expand your mental capabilities, injections to assist you in both physical and mental control. You will be programmed to respond instantaneously to any given stimulus. You will become a reflex, but highly directed unit of force. You will be taught how to use everyday objects as weapons. Everything from a toenail clipping to a briefcase. Control. Control will be emphasized throughout your training. Control. Control is the key When you're finished here, you will be assigned to safeguard specific individuals and institutions. And because of your training here, you will be set apart from other security agencies and military establishments. In other words, you will operate independently. I am your commanding officer. You will refer to me only as Mr. Trevor, your second in command. You will address him only as Mr. Lassiter. Sir! What's your project? Kill! Again! Kill! What's your priority? What? Dossiers on the new men. Just leave them on the desk. One of them had a couple of tours in Nam. Looks like a top prospect for a VIP bodyguard. <sighs> Say, reaction to the film was excellent, didn't you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I wonder what the new men would feel if they saw what the star of that film looks like today. John, the original concept of the project is all. I've had the project for six years, Frank. I've had enough. Okay. Now you're the head of it. Doesn't that mean something? The program has changed. Can't you see that? The project is different. It's more drugs now, more mind control. Well, it's necessary. The for whole thing is wrong, Frank. Have you had your injections today, John? Want some water? Nope. What about the injections? No, I had no injections today. What you're thinking is dangerous. What are you talking about? The drugs or the project? Both. Withdrawal has got to be gradual. You need to be deprogrammed. If you're not deprogrammed, you'll be a minister of society to yourself, and you know that. Deprogramming takes months. Nobody gets out of here. Not you. Especially not you. I've been training robots here for six years. For defensive purposes, that's what I've been told, that's what I tell them. Now, two weeks ago, 
There are three teams of graduate trainees sent on missions abroad. You know, I've sensed this for, for two years now, I think it's true. We're being used for offensive missions. It's necessary, John. Oh, don't give, me that. Don't give me that crap. Wasn't born yesterday, didn't get here in a mule, neither did you. We're being trained as hitmen. We can be used as political, corporate, and commercial weapons. And you know damn well that's exactly what's happening. So what the hell are you going to do about it? What can I do? I know what I can do. I can hold a press conference, blow the whistle in this Pandora's box, and put the whole damn thing down the toilet where it belongs. You can't do that, and you won't do that. Frank, I'm going out. Lasseter, 712. Yeah. Get me a medical survey team over here. As soon as possible, yes. I'm sorry, Frank. Step out of the car. Be wrong. I'll have to see your identification. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh.
You should never go into action without a recon of the area, friend. Our old friend Hook ambushed me. You son of a bitch. One of these years, when you manage to drag your ass to Manila without any advanced planning, I'm going to put another hole in it for you, whether I know who you are or not. I had to see an old friend, Carl. You all right, Hook? Never mind about that, you two. Let's have a drink. Hook, break open the good booze, will you? As for you, you SOP, you've got about two minutes before the bourbon hits the glass. And I want a complete rundown of your activities for the last four years. Now let's make it. Underwater detonations were always more dangerous. The VC put two shells into my destroyer, I know. You were always meant for Sea Command, Carl. It's my fault I should never have enlisted you in that project. Hit him again, he's getting behind. The project. I should have quit that after that training film we made. What the hell ever happened to that, anyway? It's around. All that training. Me and Hook, we were the best. Oh, we... We drew a rough assignment, but I tell you, when that ship's magazine went up, it was a sight to no, see. No, Carl, I'll never forgive the project for what it did to you, to you both. And it's happening to us all, mentally. You mean they went on with that? After the war, all of it? That's not right for you. What do you see now? I can see it in your face, John. Cut them loose. Let them sink in their own swill. Maybe I've done that. Hey, you okay? Yeah, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. Look, then. Why don't you come out here with us? We, we can have a full crew again, just the three of us? Huh? Things can't be the way they were, Carl. Just remember, John, you can't forget the past. I know that. That's the trouble. Keep moving. Come on, Oak. Hit him again. He's falling behind. <coughs> All right, a toast. Here's to the sweet wee-wee ladies of the Trang and their silk dresses. top-secret program in the United States. There are many other coffins that are willing to pay any price for what he knows. We will comb the entire island of Luzon if we have to. But I want him alive. Yes, sir. You will find the man, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir.
you sleep. Oh, well, we're a damn good sailors once hooked. All kinds of weather. You think I need that? Well, I figured we got $300,000 in the kitty, right? I'm gonna take half, you keep half. When's the last time you took him to the dock? Two, what, weeks? When you wrote to me, you said that there was a chance that the deterioration could be arrested. Do they still feel that way? All right, when I get to wherever I, to wherever I'm going, I'll refill the kitty. You tell them I won't be back for a while, so some kind of military insurance or change in the law or something you can handle that. Wish you could buy back his legs. But give him a day on a bridge of a destroyer. You go into bed. I know where my bunk is. You don't sleep very late, do you? Time enough for that when I'm old and infirm. I poured one for you. You know you're about as sneaky as an elephant. Thank you. I'll remember that the next time I'm in a tight spot. You better remember it before then if you want to get your butt out of that tight spot. I'm going to take the old car. Get out to the countryside. Just avoid crowds and check this morning. Things are going around. I need a boat, Carl. Give me a couple of days, then call that number. His name's Catolis. When's the last time you saw me? Maryland in 1907. What'd it look like? Like hell. What do you do when you see me again? Lay you on your butt for the 20 bucks you still owe me. If anybody comes by, I wasn't here. Friends? Who's got friends, Carl? Is there any cover story for the press on this situation? No, and it's not going to be. Well, we'll have to tell them something. Well, that's fine, but you'd be doing the telling. You see, Mr. Trevor's a very dangerous man. Uh, I think it's best we keep it from the local press. Well, I have my job to do, too, Mr. Lasseter, and I intend to do it. Mr. Lasseter? I'm Inspector Cruz. Yours, please. This is my associate, uh, Inspector Ortiz. How do you do, Mr. Please follow us. 
Inspector, we thought he might be here in Manila. He mentioned a few people known by name, so we suggest you begin by screening the American community discreetly, of course. You've spent some time in Hong Kong. You must know there are others interested in Mr. Trevor's whereabouts. So it is. A private plane just arrived at the Manila International, carrying several undesirable passengers by an indirect route through Sambuanga del Norte on Mindanao from Hong Kong. You know them? Mm-hmm. A man called Aldo Lee, an international trader. In what? Anything of value? Of course. They are under observation. But, uh, but what? We were ordered to stand off. Mr. Lasseter, would you know why? How should I know? How should you know? Obviously, there's something of great value involved to bring Alec himself here. Yeah, plates. Yeah. The plates. Such things could be handled through intermediaries, and usually are. Uh, Inspector, I, I have no other information I can give you. I see. Well, then, perhaps before you retire to your hotel, you might uh, ease my apprehension in another area. Sure, if I can. What was Trevor's motive for all this? <clears throat> okay. It's an illness. Um, about three weeks ago, he went through his annual physical at Walter Reed. It's a malignancy. It's terminal, and it's novel. See, Inspector, he's a man who worked for government agencies all of his life. He lived in a sterile apartment with sterile people around. He wasn't paid with? Oh, yeah, quite well. But let's say not well enough to cover a lifetime of experiences he never had. But a man like that wants the best. It takes money. The plates are worth millions. And uh, with him, he can buy himself a new life, regardless of how short it might be. At least that's how we look at it in the Inspector Cruz. I see. Patrolman Lorza, please report to Inspector Cruz. Patrolman Lorza, please report to Inspector Cruz. Ortiz, when you get back, talk to Cruz. Maybe you can get Miss Walker back to her desk at the embassy. The big one is Lassiter. Why so quiet? I thought you were an accomplished conversationalist. They told me about the man you killed in the garage. It was an accident, Miss Walker, just an accident. That accident was on foreign soil. It may not concern you, but I'm the one that has to make the explanations. Well, you're the picture of efficiency. It shouldn't be too difficult for you. Hey, look, as long as we're stuck with one another, let's, let's try to get along, okay? The man you're after is a man like you, isn't he? He's not like me. He's a lot better at his job than I am. Thank you. 
Excuse me. Uh, Lassiter, I have a reservation. Mr. Lassiter, we expected you last night. You don't mind registration, sir? Oh, by the way, a friend of yours is waiting at the bar. A friend of mine? Yes, sir, that's what he said. Did you tell anyone I was coming? No. Um, where's this bar of yours? Straight ahead, sir. Thank you. Don't mention. Have you been in the party? Yes, I was wondering if you could get me a room next to Mr. Lassiter's. We are going to be conducting some business here, and we need to confer frequently. said something about the uh, garage. I just want you to know that we don't hold any grants. My dear. <laughs> Good job. See you, boys. Hey, wait a minute. Don't rise off. You and your uh, lady friend. Have a drink with us. OK, Papa. Let's go to the hospital. OK. okay.
Lasseter here. I have a coded message for you. Can you take it? Yeah. Security one code. Mm -hmm. Ready. Next one eight windfall six three open. Go ahead. Oh forty three. Your location. Copy. Okay. Proceed immediately on this. I have it, sir. Is this the only contact here? Yes. Mm -hmm. Act fast. Or he'll you kill what? the whole program. No, I know that, sir. Yeah, I know he's dangerous. Yeah. Find him. Get it finished. Right away, sir. from over there. What's your name? Uh, where, where do you come from? My name's Lee Sue. From the lodge. Uh, Lee Sue. Uh, stay with me. All right. Walk with me. Ryder. Uh, Bill Ryder. Mr. Ryder. You staying here at the lodge? Uh-huh. You've been here long? Two days. I just came in myself. I'm glad you're here. I hope that uh, we'll see each other again. I hope so, too. Join me. Let time swallow me as time will do. 
Mr. Ryder? In my lonely world. Are you all right? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. Just too much nightlife, I guess. Well, cheers. Cheers. So go away and don't follow me. Let time swallow me as time will do. In my lonely world, there's no place for you. his mothership, did they? How many? I don't want any shooting. And it's not the law. <laughs> Have a drink, Mr. Hook. Prepare to do battle. Go around back. We'll take the front. Formidable bit of resistance. But now that this is all over, I want you to tell me where your friend Trevor is. Don't go to hell. Mr. Wagner, I do not want you to endure more pain. Trevor has something I am interested in and for which I have a custom. You cannot win out, Mr. Wagner. This pain will pierce through your mask of thought. When I get out of here, I will get what I want from you. Foolish, Mr. Wagner. Foolish and... <laughs>
strange man, Mr. Martin. I think I'm into it. Shall we walk? I see your ID, please. <laughs> Who's the matter? Strange meeting you here. Coincidence, no doubt. What happened? A battle, obviously. Oh. Uh. Miss Walker, this is a bit much for your stomach. You can uh, wait in the car. Okay, Cruz, how'd you find out about Routine that? investigation. The dossier on Trevor was most interesting. It revealed the naval history. We cross-checked it with a list of Americans who live here in Manila, and we came up with one man who served with him, Carl Wagner, a winner of the Navy Cross for gallantry in action. Gallantry was the laughter. You know what the word means? can afford gallantry these days, Cruz. You may be right, of course. It is an old word. But not everyone has forgotten it. Where is he? Outside. <laughs> Wrong? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to wake you. No, there's nothing wrong. Just trying to contact an old friend, but it's okay. Don't you sleep? Old habits, hard to break. You've seen much trouble, haven't you, Mr. Ryder? A little. You have no monopoly on that. On what? Trouble. I know that, too, but I'm a little concerned about my own, though. Yes, because you know them best. You want much in life. I mean, of life. Not much. All I know is I don't want what I've had anymore. And I don't know what's up front. I'm not used to that. Like a, like a kid, a week inside. I mean, if I cashed out tomorrow, not a single person would ever know I existed. And really, I'd just be another dead soldier. And I think that what I want is someone who really cares. 
that I've been alive. You're someone I can trust. And someone who would trust me. A woman. It's love you want. Same as I. Oh, who the hell knows <clears throat> what they want or who the hell knows anything? I am but one. And you want many things. Well, you see how foolish I am. No. Dreaming is not foolish. I will dream with you. And if you also want, I will love you. Now, first things first. A letter from your agency. Priority one, Mr. Excuse me. Pardon me, Chief Inspector Cruz. Yes? You have a telephone call on our private phone. Urgent, please. Thank you. Excuse me. Have you been in counselor service long, Miss Walker? Four years. Dedicated? Well, of course. This is a secret priority one message I've read and I understand it. What should I do with it? What would you do with it? Well, shred it and burn it. I can't do that here. I don't understand what you're getting at. Well, if you're really dedicated, you'd grab it and eat it. Then you wouldn't use a public toilet for two weeks. We well, just got some information on your friend. What? One moment. Mr. Cruz, go ahead. We have just confirmed the report that Mr. Trevor was seen this morning, accompanied by a Chinese woman along the vicinity of Taal Lake Lodge. There is also a report from the highway patrol that this same vehicle was involved in a high-speed racing along the lake highway. Where is he? There is no further report, sir, except that the vehicle was not apprehended and has not been sighted since. Well, how far is this lake tall? Just a short trip by rail. Why don't we get up there, like, right away? 
Everything has been arranged for, Mr. Lassiter. You have 45 minutes, sir. Give me a few minutes, I'll throw a few things in my bag and I'll be right down. So you have 45 minutes. If you had taken proper security measures to begin with, that phone conversation never would have happened. Time is getting short. I'm aware of the time element. Nine days is all I know. we can expect. What? Nine well, he's already gone ten days. He's beyond normal yeah. restraints. But, sir, I have another hot tip for you. Somebody took my medication. And your last injection? About 30 hours. I assume it was in your attache case. Did they steal that, too? Yeah. You get Trevor. Well, what happens if I don't get to him in time? What happens if he goes completely off the deep end? If you're still capable of handling the operation quietly with no publicity, we can alleviate the... Personally, sir, I don't give a damn about the publicity. What about the man? I mean, what do I do? What do I do? This is a priority one situation with serious international implications. You may have no choice. Bring him back or eliminate him. Yeah. I just wanted to hear you say it, sir. Miss Walker, who authorized this trip? I told you before, I can take care of myself. I authorize my own trips, and I go where I feel I have to go. And let me give you a bit of advice, mister. Pull any more of your superiority gimmicks, and this is one Radcliffe girl who can have you deported as an undesirable in nothing flat. Oh, really? That's right. And I mean it. All right. By all means, be my guest, Miss Walker. I'd like to remind you, gentlemen, we have no way of finding out how many, if any, of the Hong Kong faction are still in the Dahal vicinity. So this trip is primarily one of uh, investigation. Sergeant, please see our seats. Yes, sir. Lester, you ready? I'm not really cruise. I uh, can't get used to the heat out here. Something you'll have to bear. Let's go. business is abroad. Listen, you'd be of greater help to us if you were to cooperate fully and stop withholding information intentionally. Oh, Come on, we, we, we're back to that one, huh? We never let that, Mr. Lasseter. Look, if I were to accept your government's excuse for wanting Trevor, I'd have to ask many more questions. I don't think that's necessary. If Alok wanted those plates, he'd have bought them. But if what he wants is the man, then that's quite a different thing. What's different? Hmm? 
Mr. Lester, let me tell you the difference is that if you want to play the claim game, you can go do it somewhere else, not in my country. Thank you for again. I am here by accident, not choice or design. That's precisely my point. Look, the stupidity, the stupidity with which this operation has been handled has been nothing but complicate the situation from the start. I agree, because I'm not directing it. I know. But while you're in the Philippines, I am. And Mr. Lasseter, you will cooperate, or you can get the hell out. Tell us everything about this. Do you hear me? Everything. Not... Do you understand? No. No, I... for you. I have a business proposition for you. You might come in and talk about it. Yes, that's exactly what I had in mind. They work for Alok Lee, an international dealer from Hong Kong. Who's this? My secretary. They killed the poor man. He, he couldn't tell them what he didn't know. mentioned Wagner and the man named Trevor. You? What about Wagner? He's dead. What? He's dead. You mind looking here? Yes. I pour two drinks. More than where I can see you. I need a boat. I know. All right. Out of the question. Impossible. It would take at least a week. I'll give you $50,000. Two days. 75,000, three days. Best I can do. All right. It's a deal. There's 50. And I'll call you tomorrow. There'll be two of us. Two? In that case, the price will be... $25,000. Well, Mr. Wagner and I have done much business over the years. Profitable business, I might add. Yeah, I know all about it. Here's to fools and sailors. No, 
Well, well, well. Miss Walker, if you don't stop following me, I'm going to call the police. I'm working with the police. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I'm sorry. You've been drinking. Man, I wish I could. Hey, could I offer you one? We can't make machines all the time, you know. I don't drink on duty. Won't rest your gears. No, thank you. Miss Walker. For someone who's done so much for the country, you deserve a little enjoyment. Well, there is one little bit of enjoyment I will allow myself. Okay. Before I left for the train today, I received a message from my director asking me to call off this thing. You arranged that, didn't you? No, I didn't. But it's cool. Because you don't belong here, and I don't want you here. Oh, man's work, is that it? Golly, you guessed it. Oh, it was all right a few seconds ago when you wanted a few creature comforts. You guessed it again. Oh, oh. you are a son of a bitch. the same anymore for me. I don't know where it's different, but it is different for me now. And when all of this is out of me... The pills are dark. The pills, <laughs> that's something different. That's never happened before. Interesting. So, I'm not programmed for love. Good 
remember what I said. Tell him no more, no less. But get him here. Yes. Yes, it is. Uh, I, I have it all arranged this afternoon. At the old wharf near the dry dock and bring the rest of the money. Very well. I'll be waiting for you. Excellent. Excellent. Very well done. Now may I ask... <laughs> Most interesting analysis. The attache case we found in Mr. Lassiter's room was quite interesting. Malleable, manipulative, mind drugs. And yet in Mr. Lassiter's attache case. Tell me, old friend, did Trevor up a hill when you saw him? No. Did his hand shake? I don't know. His eyes, how did his eyes look? I don't know. I don't know. You are not very observant, old friend. I was so certain you would have much to tell me. I told you I would pay you for your services, didn't I? No. Wait. I, I helped you. I did as you asked. We burned some incense for you, dear friend. No. No. You promised me. We had a deal. No, no, please. Ah. Yes, you are being paid. But have no fear. I leave you in very experienced hands. It will be a beautiful thing. He is an artist. <coughs> Ambassador, Bundy. You know, Kitonis, who lives here, specializes in procurements of all kinds. Either he or Trevor left two bodies here yesterday. And uh, William! He knows a lot. We'll make him talk. If he'll talk, I promise you, you can finish him off. If he doesn't. Well, Cruz, I hope that dude was telling the truth. How far is it to this warp? Just a few minutes. Our surface units should be closing in now, quietly. No sirens. I'm against this. You know, if we go rushing in there like a squad of Marines, Trevor might... Pipe break. Thank you. 
kill the commander. It's unfortunate your superiors didn't give you another option. Stay here in the car. Now it's going to be all right. But don't you move until I get back there. Mr. Adam? Will you kiss me? Mr. Lassiter! 
Lasseter's at the Chiquets. Relief for you. Uh, Frank Lasseter is here. Come closer. I do not want to shout. This is what you get. Now what? Very well. Project Kill is what I want. I want to know everything about it. I will trade you the girl's life. That and a considerable sum of money. In any currency you name. Where's my boat? Your contact had an accident. You can have this boat if you agree to my request. The girl will be returned to you. You have my word. Who are you? Just a businessman. Let the girl go now. I cannot do that, Mr. Trevor. I have invested a large sum in you. If I want to do one more to get what I want, I will. You've been following me for some time now, haven't you? Do not use the word following. Investigate is a better word. It started from Mr. Wagner and... Uh, John, you got to come back with me. I'm not going back, Frank. I'll have to take you. I'm going around you. If you think you can take me, go ahead and try. Otherwise, step aside.
Your briefcase, Mr. Lassiter. 